We are now going to write an augmented matrix. And to do this, we're going to start with a system of equations. So we have a system of equations. And we're going to turn this into a matrix. So we're going to get our matrix. And we're going to get our squares. And we're going to add a vertical line to separate the last column from the other columns. And so I'm going to call this last column, this is the constant column, and this is the coefficients. And the way this works is that each row, a row is an equation. And the columns are the variables. So the first column is typically our x, then our y, and then our z if we have a three system, three equation. So, here we go. We have three equations. That's going to give me three rows. I have three variables. So that's going to be three columns to the left, and then I've got my constants, which gives me my last column. So now we come in, and we're going to add variables where they're missing. And 0x, 0z, 0x. Our first row is the first equation. And we don't write the variables. We just write their numbers. This is like synthetic division. So we get a 0 a 3, and a minus 1, and an 8. That's our first equation. So it's our first row. Our second equation is our second row, and it gets a 1, a 4, a 0, and a 14. And our third row gets a 0, a minus 2, a 9, and a 0. So I've converted this system of equations into an augmented matrix.